You know, one thing that I must say about Michel Foucault, he's the only writer I know who before he wrote anything, and he wrote a lot, he wrote a lot, but before he wrote anything, he, and he uh, got involved in an advocacy. So for example, the very first major book he wrote, a very thick book called The History of Madness, he did not write that until after he had served for over two years as a volunteer orderly in a French asylum. He did not write The Birth of the Clinic until after he had spent many years of thinking about the context into which he himself had been born. After all, his father was a medical, had been a medical doctor. And so he, he kind of knew from the inside, you know, through his father's contacts and so forth and so on, what the medical establishment was like. And so he wrote a book critically interrogating the medical establishment called The Birth of the Clinic. He wrote uh, books against, uh, you know, he wrote critical interrogations, for example, of the penal apparatus, discipline and punish, the birth of the prison. He wrote it because of his lifelong involvement in an advocacy which, uh, together with other with friends, in an advocacy which made it possible for French prisoners to directly address the French public to bypass all those talking heads that you, know, you normally see on TV, the ones interviewed by BBC, CNN, and all the experts with all the PhDs, string of PhDs after their names, and so that they speak on behalf of the prisoners. But you know, in a way, when you do that, you're, you, you erase, you render invisible the prisoners themselves. You just, in a sense, uh, put before you the talking heads who supposedly speak on behalf of the prisoners. Well, you know, Foucault and his group wanted to short circuit that process. And so one of the ways in which he uh, would do it would be to uh, entice the French media, say, to a, a, a particular prison, and uh, say, okay, you want to interview me, come to this prison. Because by that point, Michel Foucault had uh, great renown in France. In fact, at the time he died, after Jean-Paul Sartre, he was the most important French intellectual, okay, after Jean-Paul Sartre. Uh, but in any case, so he would entice the media to come, okay, come for me, come talk to me in this prison. and then. Just before they would arrive, he would slip through the back door. So back doors like this are important too. Uh, and uh, leaving the media, left with no one to talk to except the prisoners themselves. So in other words, that way, they were able to broker direct contact between the French prisoners and the media so that the French prisoners could in their own words and in their own voices raise their complaints to the French public and so forth and so on. 